everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video we're going to be talking about how queer families might conceive, specifically the three I's. So ICI, IUI, and IVF. There are many other different ways like having sex, um, but we won't be talking about that in this video. Perhaps that's another video. Maybe not my channel. Um, but yeah, I hope that you take away something from this process and let's get started. So I wanted to start you all off with ICI. Um, ICI stands for intracervical insemination. So what that means is sperm is deposited into the vagina around the cervix, but it doesn't pass the cervix, it doesn't go into the cervix, it doesn't go into the uterus. So if you wanted a visual, and I'm shaking around here, um, my little plunger, okay, but if you wanted a visual, the cervix would be located, there's the cervix, some cervixes survive, cervix, whatever, some are sideways, some are really far back, some are really far forward, but you find where your cervix is, you have your plunger which is filled full of sp sperm, either from your sperm bank and your tank, or from a friend who came over to give it to you. You locate that cervix, you plunge, right? So put that sperm all around inside the vagina close to the cervix, and then you get on your back and you raise your knees up really, really high and you hang out like that for like 20 minutes or an hour better. Um, and you hope that that sperm, that all of your kind of cervical mucus and maybe you'll have an orgasm and that orgasm will then help bring up the sperm into your uterus and two weeks later you find out that you're pregnant. Um, so that is the process of an ICI. In terms of the sperm that you have to use for, whew, I'm all disheveled from hanging out upside down. Um, in terms of the type of sperm that you might use, so you can use any type of sperm that you'd like but you do not have to have washed sperm. So that means that you can have sperm where there's still seminal fluid within that. Uh, because of that, if you're going to a sperm bank to purchase uh, sperm, the cost is a lot less than if you're doing ICI. The cost would be like on average, like 400 maybe to $600 a vial, and it's recommended that you have two per cycle, so you're looking at like $800 to $1,200 for that cycle. Um, if you have a friend who's coming over to donate, then it's free, unless you came up with an agreement to pay them. I don't know if that's legal, but whatever you do, you boo, do what you gotta do. Um, in terms of like the pros and the cons, the pro is that it's just cheaper. You can do it at home. You can also go do it at a clinic, um, but you can do it at home and you can do it with your partner, right? So your partner can just be the one who, or yourself, you can be the one who plunges the sperm into your vagina and around your cervix. Um, in terms of the cons, you know, well, I mean, one of the biggest cons is that it's potentially less effective than an IUI and an I and IVF. Um, there is a little bit of a higher risk of infection just because you're using most likely unwashed sperm. Um, or potentially you're using a donor and you don't know all of their background and history and whatnot. Um, and if you have any fertility issues, then generally ICI isn't recommended, I believe, just because uh, the chances of getting pregnant through ICI are a lot lower. Um, yeah, so that's ICI for you. And I will move on to IUI next. So let's talk about IUI. So IUI stands for intrauterine insemination. So like the way it sounds, this is where the sperm is actually deposited directly into the uterus. So you're probably thinking, oh my god, how would someone do that? What does that mean? Putting it into your uterus. It's not that bad. Um, and I will show you. I won't show you my uterus because another video, another time. Or actually never. Not another time. That's for one person only. Um, but you have your little, right, that plunger that I showed you all. And then you have, <laughs> I'm so ridiculous. Okay, so you have your plunger here. And then you have a really thin catheter like this. And this thin catheter, and you have your speculum again, 
this thin catheter goes into your vagina and then it goes through your cervix, right? And then it gets deposited into, it goes into your uterus and then that sperm is deposited into your uterus. So because you're going into your body, right, deep into the beautiful, warm, pulsing cavities of your body, there is a higher risk of infection. And so I highly, 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 highly recommend that anyone who decides to do an IUI goes through uh, or works with someone who knows sterile technique. So whether that is a midwife at home or a fertility clinic or your friend who is a midwife or your partner who is a doctor, whatever you do, like, as long as you know sterile technique, um, you're good, you're safe, you're cool right? Um, in an IUI, you must use washed sperm. So that's where the seminal fluid is removed because again, it, because it is being deposited directly into the uterus, we want to prevent any risk of infection. Um, the average cost for an IUI ranges between, it's about like a hundred. So the vial of sperm is about a hundred dollars more than an ICI is what people say. I have noticed that it ranges between like 700 and about a thousand dollars or so for an IUI vial. Again, people who are doing IUIs are probably being told or recommended that they should do two vials per cycle. So that's between 1400 and 2000 dollars each cycle. Um, if you're, if someone is doing this at a fertility clinic, Hopefully their insurance covers it. Um, I don't know exactly what fertility clinic costs are, but you can probably, I'll put a link to it below so you guys can take a look and it really just depends on your insurance and where you go and all that good stuff. Um, what I do know is that if you decided that you wanted to do an IUI or someone decided they wanted to do an IUI at home, then that cost really ranges based on the midwife and also your income. So there are some midwives who work on sliding scales, so you can pay anywhere from like $70 or $100 to $300 or $350 per try. So if you're paying someone $350 per try, then that means if I did the math, that's right, like $700 each month in addition to the cost of the sperm that you're paying for for that month. Um, in terms of success rates, they're much higher than an ICI because the sperm is being directly deposited into the uterus. So they don't have to go through that journey of working their way through the acidic environment of the vagina and you know, be, they don't have to try to find like the perfect mucus, cervical mucus to come up into your uterus, um, right? They're just directly in your uterus. They're kind of hanging out, waiting for that egg to come um, so that they can make a baby. They're waiting for follicles. They're like, which one? Um, do you love my explanation? I should not teach this to a class of young people. This is, this is silly. Um, so yeah, pros of using IUI, sperm has a much better chance of reaching its end goal. Um, it can be done at home. It can also be done in an office space. Um, the cons of doing an IUI is that it is just more expensive. Uh, and also there is a higher risk of infection. Again, especially if you do this without a care provider. Um, if you're, even if you're doing kind of with a known donor, the cost is higher, right? Because you're, that known donor will then have to get that sperm washed. You can't just deposit it directly into your uterus. So that is IUI in like 800 words, many more words, but short version of IUI. Okay. Ooh, gonna get comfortable here. Okay. Can you see me? Okay, good. Um, so the last one we're going to talk about, the last kind of I and the three I's, is IVF. So IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. I'm sure many of you have heard about this. In this process, you have follicles that are matured within a person's body through the use of hormone injections. Once there are a sufficient number of follicles that are mature within the body. Those eggs are retrieved through an egg retrieval process. So it's like egg aspiration, or if you're going to go for a really long term that I don't even know if it's a medical term, it's like a transvaginal ultrasound guided egg retrieval procedure. So basically that removes the eggs from the follicles. 
Those follicles are then, or those eggs are then combined with sperm in a laboratory dish, so outside of the body. They're allowed to grow for a period of time, and all of the ones that are really strong, so those really healthy eggs, are then, not all of them, like one or two of those, are then transferred in, back into that person's body, into the uterus. Right? So the average cost of IVF is about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. Sometimes that is covered by insurance. Sometimes it is not. Um, I know of some families who go directly to IVF and some who uh, kind of try ICI or IUI a few times. Like a few times, I mean like six or twelve because you're trying twice or for a year or whatever they do, and then they'll go to IVF. Um, there's a new law now where queer couples can actually also get the same benefits of being infertile. So if you've been trying for a year and nothing's happening, your insurance, I believe, has to cover IVF. Uh, it's a little confusing. I'll probably put some resources down below so that you can look into it on your own. It's constantly changing. Um, success rates are much higher with IVF per cycle. Um, it's just, I mean, you're creating, right? You're creating uh, what needs to happen immediately outside the body and ensuring that that whole entire process happens first where the egg becomes an embryo um, and the main thing that it needs to do is grow within your body right so i hope that that was really helpful for all of you i hope that you now know the difference between iui ici and ivf i am by no means a doctor so this was just kind of a my an ex explanation in the way that i understand it um, my wife kept saying that people in her her community also just didn't know the difference. I know my mom, when I told her I was doing an IUI, she said, great, good luck on the IUD. Uh, <laughs> so I thought, you know what, let's talk about the three I's and I am not getting an IUD. Uh, <laughs> it's the opposite of what I want to have happen. Um, I love her though. Our parents are so supportive. Mwah. Love you guys. Um, so yeah. so. If you have any questions, as always, I welcome them. Feel free to ask them. Email me, call me if you have my number. Um, only people who have my number who are my friends should be calling me. Um, or leave a comment below. And before you leave, please subscribe and like this video. Bye, you guys.